I'm absolutely overwhelmed and this makes me very happy. My twin sister would have loved to have been here tonight. Uh, some of you have seen her work with me at one other Friday night forum that we did a few years back, right? That was when you were at Belvedere. And so this is the, uh, the second one that I'm doing here. Uh, I am very happy to be able to, to uh, talk about what it is to be a, a psychic medium. Then there are objects that may appear around you, uh, many different kinds, that you know that you did not have there before. Or you may actually find objects of yours that disappear, only to reappear later. And these, this is what is called physical phenomena. And this is becoming perhaps the greater thing that we are now starting to see more and more of, really starting about five years ago. There's another phenomena that I know quite a few of you have experienced, but you don't necessarily recognize it right away. You think something's wrong with your film. I will have glitter of all shapes and sizes that will appear on my uh, living room rug or in my office room rug, often right in the middle, so you can't miss it, especially if the, the, the light is on it. This week I've been finding red, uh, what I call red foil glitter that's rather box shaped. And as of yesterday, I started now finding green. I don't know where it's coming from. It would be interesting to find out how many of you have had some kind of experience. Raise your hands. Okay. My, not just including my sister and I, but many, many people we are finding now are on the threshold of a huge wave, a huge tsunami wave of recognizing that there is something here besides this physical realm, this dimension. We're finding that as it seems that we've turned the corner from the 1990s and gone into the 2000s, we're seeing a huge wave of interest in this again. It's as if we have kind of turned back the clock to the late 1800s and it's, it's like started all over again and the reason for it is this every time our country and in fact the world whenever there is a, a large enough percentage of what we call carnage wars violence in this world we're finding that the other dimension here that lies right next to us. What people are calling the astral realm, what many people call heaven, is that they are quite literally thinning the realm between these two worlds. But nonetheless, this is where so much of it started was in this country because of the Civil War. So many, so many soldiers that died during that time period were trying to find a way back to loved ones to let them know they were there. And what we're finding now again is that we're seeing that this is all happening all over again. Uh, there was a lady over here that asked me, what are orbs? Okay. If you happen to have any pictures that you see, what looks like uh, a bubble that was blown, and some of these bubbles uh, can look like, in, in comparison to, to my height, they can be like that big, but about as big as a quarter or a half dollar, and sometimes they can be gigantic. Many of these orbs, especially if they have what looks like a structured pattern on the inside, those are orbs, those are spirits. Now, if you get a bubble that looks just for all intents and purposes, like there's nothing in it. It's difficult to say that that's necessarily a spirit because that could be just dust. Um, in this book here though, I have a picture of a woman that I know by the name of Pauline who is inspecting a house that she and her family were building. And you will see in there orbs 
and dust. So you can get a good idea of what they look like. These orbs, or, well, that are technically spirits, these are conscious entities. This is what they look like. <coughs> they look very structured inside. I have no doubt that, there's, that there are people in spirit everywhere, folks. They don't just they don't just inhabit some place up there. The, the astral realm is shot through all of this. The reason why we can't necessarily notice them is because our limitations in terms of our senses prevent that. Because we are working at a lower electromagnetic frequency than they are. But every now and then, they may lower their energy in order for us to see them. And if you see them in terms of a ghost, they are definitely exhibiting a lot of energy in order for you to see them. I felt a soldier, because he showed me he was a soldier, he was standing right where I was standing. My hair stood up all over. I turned to Al, I said, turn your camera on quick, he's standing here. So I went upstairs, and I didn't know they turned the lights out, but they, they actually got this orb of a soldier standing right where I was, second to the top step, and he traveled behind the staircase, the, the spokes. I mean, you saw it move behind there, and then he came back down the stairs, moved around, and if you, if you go and look at that online, it's really amazing.